I'm Mark Hanley and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Setting up the Hydros X4 was really, really simple. If you missed that video, it's linked in the description below. Make sure you watch it so you're up to date. Now, if I stopped with the X4 at this point, I'd have an aquarium controller that can monitor my tank's temperature and pH and could control certain pumps that ran off low voltage, 12 volt DC. Things like ATO pumps, things like that. In my case, I know I wanna control pumps and other devices that run off 110 volt AC. Things that use plugs like this, protein skimmers, other lights, other pumps, etc. Now to do that, Hydros has their Wi-Fi outlets. They have their Wi-Fi smart plug, which you guessed it, runs off Wi-Fi. And they also have the XP8, which is a physical connection to the X4 via command bus cable. I'm a fan of physical connections between devices, especially when I'm wanting to turn on and off 110 volt outlets. I've got more than four devices that I want to control via 110 volt outlets. So the XP8 is the route I'm going for Hydro's control of those outlets. To get the XP8 set up, I just plug it into the X4. The X4 recognizes it and I'm off to the races, right? Wrong. To get the X4 to talk to the XP8, I have to create something that CoralView calls a collective. And a collective is a group of Hydro's devices that all talk to one another but they can communicate to the internet independent of one another, and if one of them goes down, well, then the other devices take over. In my case, the XP8 doesn't rely on the X4 to operate. Let's say my X4 goes down. Well, at that point, the X8 sends an alert to the Hydro's web app and say, hey, something's wrong with your collective, you need to go check it out, but by the way, the XP8 is providing the connection to the internet, and this thing is pretty much acting like a controller. I can still control these outlets, independent of the X4. Here's what's really great about the collective. Let's say I spill some water on this XP8 and I ruin it and I need to replace it. I get the new XP8, I put it into my collective. I don't have to copy and paste the code from the old outlets on the XP8 onto the outlets on the new XP8. I can simply copy and paste, tell Hydros to take this old XP8, copy everything and put it on the new XP8. I don't have to do that individually. I don't have to wait for tech support to do that for me. So that means I've got a system that's not reliant on a single brain or a single part. One piece of it can go down, the rest of it takes up the slack and it communicates with the internet. So with that, here's how I set up my collective. First, any device I want to add to the collective has to be connected to my Wi-Fi network and added to the Hydros app. There's simple instructions for that on the Coral V website, so I'm not gonna walk you through it. Now that all my devices are on my Wi-Fi and register on the Hydros app, I can connect my X4 and go to the status screen, then tap the plus icon, select Create Collective. I make sure I have everything connected like the warning page says. Give my collective a name, then select Create. Then tap Upload Changes at the bottom of the screen and let the Hydros do its thing. Then I verify the collective was created by going to the status screen and right here, I can see the collective. So far, so good. Tap on the collective to see the status and I verify that my X4 is the first device listed as it's my main device in the collective. At this point, to add a new device to my collective, I need to power down the whole collective. That means basically shutting down my whole hydro system. First, I was like, wait a minute, what? I wanna just be able to plug something in, connect the command bus cable, Add it in the app and go. CoralView says, no, don't do that. You could potentially fry something. You need to power everything down. I said, okay, I'm gonna follow your advice. This is the point of this. I'm gonna do what you say. So I powered the whole thing down, quickly added the XP8, and then powered it back up. Then I connected the command bus cable between the X4 and the XP8, powered up the XP8, and now the X4 is getting power from the XP8. I wait for everything to initialize and get the blue status lights on the XP8 and the X4. Then I go into the Hydros app, select a collective to see its status. Now I'm going to add the XP8 by going to devices, hit the plus symbol down here, select the XP8 and leave Wi-Fi at its normal settings, meaning the XP8 Wi-Fi controller will only try to connect to Wi-Fi if the X4 is disconnected. Tap upload changes, wait for the Hydros to do its thing, and then I confirm the XP8 is added to the collective by noticing the XP8 is no longer in this list. It's instead on the collective status screen right here. 
I realized I might have just hit you with a bunch of information, and the first time I went about setting up the collective, I read the instructions twice to make sure I really got it. But I found it's something that you need to read the instructions and then jump into it. It's really straightforward. Everything I've been doing with the Hydros, in fact, has been really straightforward, and I'm really etching to start plugging some devices into the XP8, start configuring it, and see just how easy it is to add configurations to these individual outlets. So, if you're looking at the Hydros, don't get taken out by the collective. It's actually very straightforward. You just gotta jump in there once you've read the instructions and get your feet wet, and then you're gonna find it makes a heck of a lot of sense. I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'm gonna go fiddle, because now I'm at the point where it's gonna get really, really fun. Mm -hmm.